The new satirical newspaper, Lacrosse Times, offers a much needed comedic alternative to the news in the Cooley region. At the helm is Sam Schiltz. He talks with us about his beginning, comedy, and how his newspaper's comedic stories sometimes fly over the heads of a few readers, and what makes for an interesting headline in our community. I'm Amy, he's Brent, and this is Lacrosse Local. My name is Sam Schiltz. I was born in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, and I started comedy. I guess when I was living in La Crosse, I think this was about 2013, I was living with my roommate at the time was a theater person who had a lot of interest in things like Second City in Chicago and improv comedy, a lot of that stuff. So he was pursuing that. But one thing he always wanted to to do and try in the area was stand up. And I had always kind of thought about doing that as well. And so he got the courage to go up at the root note at like an open mic one week. And when I saw that he could do it, I felt like, well, I could give it a try. And that's kind of where I started. I started doing stand up, And the more I did that, the more I realized that writing comedy was kind of a passion of mine because at the time I was a music major and wanted to play out in venues and whatnot, uh, playing the drums. But I liked that I could have a performance avenue that was you just show up and as long as there's a microphone, you can do your performance and not have to lug in any heavy equipment or anything like that. So that appealed to me. And the fact that comedy is really a very visceral, instant reaction that you can have from an audience where you know right away if people are digging what you're doing and you know right away if people are not enjoying what you're doing. And the cool thing is like everything you're doing, as long as you're not ripping anyone off, everything you're doing is something that you have created originally. And that's instant validation for something that is a hundred percent your own. There's no better feeling than getting that sort of validation on something that is all you, you know what I mean? That was really the the thing that made me want to pursue it more and more. And so I ended up going from stand up. I joined a local sketch comedy group called Live from Lacrosse, which is where I kind of honed character work and they have a news segment which always interested me and so I really heavily hit that hard until I realized last year that lacrosse doesn't really have anything like the onion or the hard times or any of those so I thought it would be interesting if there was a way I could get started with that so that's kind of a roundabout way of answering your question how I got into comedy I've definitely seen your work from Lacrosse Live to some of the videos you've been posting recently, which are absolutely hilarious on Facebook. Those were a lot of fun to put together. Kind of surprised at the reaction that got too. I thought maybe uh, a couple of people here and there. It was nice when like someone was like, "Oh, did you see Todd shared that video? Like, great!" And then like a couple hours later, it was like a thousand shares, and I'm like, what? "Oh my goodness, that's crazy." Yeah, it was, it was pretty true to Lacrosse too. Leading from there, so. You kind of touched on it a little bit. What was the impetus for the Lacrosse Times? Just thinking about a community that needed a satirical newspaper, or is just something you? It was something where it was an avenue in comedy that I had wanted to explore for a long time. Just with the sketch show, and we were getting to a point where, with me and some of my other friends in the cast at the desk, we were coming up with so much material for the news segment that it was becoming like twenty-two minutes long for like a ten-minute segment that they wanted. There was something about that where it's like, this comes naturally. And maybe it's from previous positions I've held where I was a reporter for some local news, but I just really felt like I had a knack for that style of comedy. And so I really wanted to give that a try. And I had the opportunity to come up with some of the infrastructure and learn a little bit about WordPress and get all of that stuff started. One of my first headlines that I was thinking about was something about I wanted to make fun of how basically Tug is at every live music show. And I wanted to talk about, well, maybe there's some sort of weird ordinance that that's actually required by law. And so one of the first ones I wrote was like a uh, study finds this old city ordinance actually technically requires Tug to be at all benefit concerts. And I thought that might, that's kind of funny. Maybe I'll do more stuff like that and then get some ideas from my friends who are also in uh, live from lacrosse and then build up these headlines and these things that we had. And we got to a point where I had like 30 to 40 articles from, you know, three or four people that were uh, constantly contributing where I was just like, well, I have to get some, some place to actually put all these and uh, make, um, make sure people can see it. So I always loved the way that the onion and hard times, their 
posts look like the same thing, like an, a, a real news outlets post would look like with the bigger picture and then the headline at the bottom, and then you can click to see more and all of that. So I wanted that. I was able to learn WordPress enough to where I could make my own homepage and just kind of have that as a collection of stories there we could have and then link to their own pages. And that's where I was able to, we kicked off with a bang, man. We had that first story about Quick Trip climate scientists predict in 2050 that lacrosse will become one giant quick trip. It's, it's either first or second place for the most views we had that brought in like pretty close to 50,000 visitors in like a week's time. So that was pretty incredible to see because not only had we been working so hard on making sure that once we came out with this, it was professional and uh, done right, but that so many people liked it right away. That was really, really rewarding. Yeah, that's awesome to reach that many people. One thing I, I like about these sort of magazines is how satire seems to just basically fly over the heads of people on social media. The comments are just ridiculous in the sense of like, are you serious? Like, are you being serious? You know, the people that are commenting. Any particular funny story that you've published related to Lacrosse Times that someone actually commenting on them or anything like that? There's been a couple. The one uh, most recently in my mind is... I've had a kind of a recurring character. I, I did one earlier on where it was just a play on words of like a business. So I thought it would be funny if a confused guy went to burn boot camp, but thought it was literal. Like, so a confused man arrested with blowtorch and galoshes at burn boot camp. So that was kind of early on. That didn't get a whole lot of traction, but I thought it would be funny to bring him back. And so recently I wrote a story doing a play on that exploratory surgery uh, night that you can get at pizza doctors. And it was a confused man in white coat and scalpel arrested at exploratory surgery. And I thought that was silly enough, especially one of the quotes in the article references an officer named carpets to go. <laughs> <laughs> and that he said the intent was he wanted to sew more arms onto his body so he could look like Goro from Mortal Kombat. I thought that was silly enough, but apparently not. First of all, it got a lot of shares. And then I would say one out of five people were like, oh my goodness, did this actually happen? To the point where even <laughs> Pizza Doctor shared it. And they were like, I felt so bad. They, they were like, we've been getting some concerned calls. Trust me, this is just a for laughs article. Everything's fine. But they were really cool about it. They said that they really enjoyed it. So I'm, I'm glad because it, sometimes that can go either way. Kind of weird. We've had a couple, couple experiences like that where my friend wrote an article that was about, I guess, the school district hiring or buying like a one of those killer robot things from robocop you wow. know the two-legged ones that were always falling over <laughs> so the article was about them buying that as a crossing guard and a couple people still thought that was real to the point where they were like enraged about how their tax money was going to something like that and i was just it's hard to say whether that's like gives me joy or a little bit of like pause about like oh man <laughs> people really ready to believe that a small town like lacrosse would buy a killer robot as a crossing guard my goodness they're a joy every time i see them on social media it's a fun thing just to read through and kind of alleviate the ongoing confusion that's going on in the last couple of months so where do you see lacrosse times going are you going to be doing any sort of other components or any other media with it i'm working right now on trying to update our website and have more of an in-depth about section about the people that write for us. I want to have more opportunities for others to submit headlines. Uh, I want to have opportunities for um, any local places that are interested in advertising with us and things like that. But all of that stuff takes time. And a lot of us, the writers, myself, uh, you know, I'm working two jobs. And so I, I, I like to be able to make this a part of my time. I just want to make this more and it's kind of trying to find the the times to be able to do that one of the things that helps us is I, you know i'm gonna sound like a beggar at, at this point but we do have donations on all of our stories and we have a patreon now where you can basically become a monthly subscriber a monthly supporter of this and that really helps us to be able to reach more people 
but it also helps us kind of be able to focus a little bit more on this because the more the more people are really showing us that they're really enjoying this, they're they're, they're showing their support for this. The more the more passion we're going to be able to put into doing more of what we love to do because we really do love doing this. Or right, I will I will tell you right now that this website and putting this together every morning it's really getting me through this pandemic and i hope that there are others out there that see our headlines are laughing at them laughing along with us yeah i that's where i'm seeing us going i'd I'd also like us to you know produce a podcast eventually and have maybe when we can gather large groups of people or larger groups of people, we'd like to do live shows and uh, things of that nature. So if people are interested in maybe, you know, participating, you talked about needing some help with headlines or just want to donate, where can they find out more about the newspaper? Lacrossetimes.news. You can also email us at the LAX times, all one word, Uh, at gmail.com. That's where if you have an idea for a headline or if you have a fully fledged article, anything you would like to submit, we can't promise that we'll use everything. We always look at it and I try to give feedback and things that we like about it and whether we'll end up using it or not. So that's something I would encourage people to do. We're offering all of the extras. So that's behind the scenes and any VIP or info on podcasts or like anything that's coming up for us that you'll get before anybody else, plus extra headlines or things that we didn't post yet or anything like that. You'll get all of that stuff for the next year if you sign up as a Patreon between now and the end of August, uh, no matter what tier you have. So if you are on the $5 tier, you'll get anything and everything for the next year. Lacrosse Local Podcast is a production of River Travel Media. Do you have an interview idea you would like to share with us? Message us on Facebook at Lacrosse Locals. Subscribe to the Lacrosse Local Podcast on your favorite podcast app. If you like us, rate us five stars. We thank you for it. <laughs>